What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of 59. Today's episode, we're going to be getting one step closer to get this thing running and driving on the road. So if you saw last week's episode, you saw that we removed all the fuel line, we got a new battery in, new battery bracket, uh, we got some battery cables and terminals for all that because we need power and fuel to make the motor run. And we had fuel, or we had all the stuff for the fuel, we just didn't have the stuff to power. So we got all that stuff worked out. Um, I mentioned that we're going to start studying the uh, EFI wiring harness and all that, try to get that figured out. So that'll be this episode as well. But today we're going to start off by trying to get the starter on and hopefully it fits. Because we got the starter from some of the discount section. Discount. It's basically just like factory seconds or something's nicked or something like that or has a couple scratches. Like has a couple scratches right here. So it doesn't mean that it doesn't work or anything, but... Or someone may have bought it, mounted it, didn't fit, and I return it or something like that. So, yeah, so we're gonna try to get this to fit and try to find the hardware to make it to actually mount it. Because I don't know where the starter bolts are, and I don't really want to leave and go get some. So, I have these 390 starter bolts that actually we got them for the 428, my F100, but they didn't fit. But they did fit our 390 block we have. So, I'm gonna see if these fit. Hopefully, they fit. So I'm gonna take one right here and try to thread it in and see if it will fit. Well, I'll be dipped, as Vice Grip Garage says. I think they just may work. No freaking way. Huh. Well, let's get the starter up in here. All right, so I, I test fitted it. It fits fine, but it's too close to the header on this side. So I'm going to clock it back kind of because with these starters, you can take these two Allen heads out right there and basically clock the starter back on this plate to make it kind of fit to your liking. So I'm going to clock it back to almost, I'm gonna, or actually I'm gonna do clown, counterclockwise a little bit so it won't be so close to the header on this side of kind of where my hand is. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, got the starter on with the bolts from the 390 starter that we bought. So I had to stack a couple of washers to cover the shoulder, but it's tight. So it's all that matters. And that the uh, post for the uh, positive cable is pretty accessible. So that works. Now we got these collector kind of, not really collector. I don't really know what you call them, but they already have a little bung on it for a for, for a O2 sensor, so you don't have to weld into another collector. So I'm gonna install those real quick. Um, we're gonna do the, we're gonna run the O2 sensor on the passenger side, because that's where all the wiring's gonna be on the passenger side. Then this, I already got this one kind of mocked up, but we're just gonna plug this one. So I'm gonna tie this up. I'm tying this one up, then get the one on with the uh, O2 sensor. Got the bung on the bungs on and tight um that one got the o2 sensor on it like i said we're running on the passenger side here's the connector pointed up it's kind of at a 10 30 degree angle that's what we want then i need to get a plug for this one we plug that one up but yeah it's looking pretty sharp got the collectors done like it's like i showed um now my dad kind of started to plug in the wiring harness and just kind of zip tie and stuff where stuff's gonna go and all that. So we're off to a pretty good start. Now to just study the uh, instructions on kind of where everything else is supposed to go. The EFI wiring harness is gonna simplify a lot of things. Um, just the body harness with the lighting and the dash is gonna be a little interesting. So like I mentioned, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna have to read that book that I got that's for 80 to 86 Ford trucks and kind of read up on some schematics so but right now off to a good start all right back in the shop uh kind of got this kind of a rough draft um of the wiring harness battery it's right here which this is really nice because everything's plug and play um 
the stuff we do have plugged into the TPS right here in the throttle body. Map sensor right there. Um, this is the IAC. I'm not 100% sure what that's for. Then here's the injectors plugins because there's injector right there. Let me see it. Right there, the little port um, of a plug. Um, got the CTS right there in the intake manifold. Then these wires right here are key. That was a gunfire. Um, okay. Fuel pump, which we'll have to run that kind of down there and extend it, which is no, no biggie. Um, here's a relay. TAC, tachometer, I assume. That's the OBD2, which was going right down there, which is what we need to. And that's the main kind of piece right there to connect to the to the uh, computer. So, and I don't know what... The, uh, I'm not sure what those two are. Oh, I think this is for the, uh, the, the dash display. Bro, who is shooting? So I got the instructions because I was trying to figure out which injector is which. And I had a brain fart. Uh, IAC is idle air control. So I said I didn't know what that is. It's idle air control. I had a major brain fart. So just completely ignore I said that. Anyway, this literally tells you everything to do. Super simple, super cool as well. And for the price that these are at, very, very nice. So that's what I was trying to find. Which injector is which? So I can kind of plug them in. So I believe that the one showing up pointed at was injector one because the throttle bracket is on that side so i'm gonna go ahead and plug in the injectors and we'll go, we'll go from there okay so i got all the injectors plugged in got the idle air control plugged in the back um everything in the throttle body is already plugged in i kind of drug it back over there just like so get some more room now that little hanger right there, it's going to be easier if we run a lot of the wires on the passenger side. Um, just because this is on the passenger side, O2 sensors are on the passenger side, batteries on the passenger side. So we're going to try to keep the engine wiring harness right here and the body wiring harness right here. So um, that screw right there, I can see it will focus. That screw right there, I believe I can take out and I'll move that little clip to over there. So I'm going to try to do that real quick. Then maybe I can hang the harness right there to kind of drag it over there. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Kind of got everything kind of mocked up. Maybe for the final time. Who knows? But this seems to work best. So start right here. I did move the clip. The clip was right there. Focus. Focus. So much going on. I won't even focus. Okay. Clip's right there. Move it over there. Um, this wire... This group of wire right here is for the throttle body. So that goes up right there. Going to get more of those clips to kind of bolt to the firewall, clean it up. Then that one right there is for the OBD2 sensor. Carry this over here. That connector is for the computer, which we'll probably be mounting somewhere over here externally in the firewall. Those two wires, black wires right there for the display screen. That will need to be on the driver's side. In the cab, over here, relay, come out on the firewall. That yellow terminal right there is ground which I'm gonna to mount to that ground strap right there. That's already there. Then this long one is battery um, fan, I think, and something else. Battery fan, oh, let me check. Fuel pump, so, which we had to extend that one no matter what. So that, not really too worried about that. Then that kind of brown wire right there, that's the tack, so that's not to be extended as well. But this should work. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't. Just going to have to get some more clips like that. Kind of so keep it all clean and stuff. But I'm going to lift the car up and plug in the O2 sensor. So here is the O2 sensor wire or cable, whatever you want to call it. Um, this connects right here to the O2 sensor. So this works perfectly. Don't have to really... The dangling or anything like that I'm just gonna have to clean it up so i'm gonna go ahead and plug that up real quick oh two sensors indeed plugged in and i kind of rerouted the main wire over here more so 
I'm not gonna zip tie anything until it's all final because I don't really wanna weigh zip ties and cut them and all that just in case we decide to move stuff around. So that's there. O2 sensor is plugged in. Now let's go back up top. So we're at a slight stopping point now. Um, the body harness for the F-150 is pretty trash. And I'll kind of tell you why it's trash. Um, it's been hacked up in certain spots multiple times. The fuse panel hanging off. And if the engine wiring harness caught fire at one point, we, there's a potential that the body harness caught fire as well. And you can kind of see on some spots where it's burnt. So we ordered a new body harness that should replace all the body harness and all the all the wiring on behind the dash for all the gauges and all that and headlights and taillights turn signals all that jazz but let me show you kind of what i'm talking about right there see we did not do that that's already been spliced um i don't even that goes to that goes to the horn right here so i don't even know there's loose connector right there see that's kind of been Jimmy rigged right there. All that's been spliced. So then let's go over here. <laughs> we cut that. We don't really know what that goes to now or we forgot. So that's kind of on us, but let's see under the dash. Um, ignore that. I took that out, but all this was here when we first bought it. So you can just kind of tell all that's been spliced. Fuse panels hanging out. All right. Well, I don't even know what that is. So, we're also going to rip that out. But, moral of the story, there's a bunch of just random wiring. It goes in a lot of weird places. It's been Jimmy rigged and spliced before, and we don't really want to jack with it. So, and if we're going to have a new wiring harness, or a new engine wiring harness, why have a used and abused body harness, you know? That doesn't really make any sense. So, yeah, we ordered a body harness off eBay. Um, should be here pretty soon. So, we're kind of stopping point till that. But and radiator should be here. I think tomorrow, which tomorrow's Monday, so it should be here tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm not for sure, but yeah. As talking point for today, so kind of a bummer, but no worries. Thank y'all for watching today's video. I know it wasn't super long, but they get a lot of stuff done, and that's what's important. So got wiring. All kind of mocked up. Got the O2 sensor plugged in, which I'm gonna have to go look. I think I may have said OBD2 sensor at the beginning of the video. If I did, don't clown me. I was tired that night, so I meant O2 sensor. So got that out of the way. Got the O2 sensor plugged up. Um, got the collectors on for the O2 sensors. Got battery and all that. So making good progress. Just gotta wait for the body harness. So. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.